was, but I will say I thought I left it short. Pink, pink happy. So that's good though. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Good Good Labs channel. If you guys have not already seen the video we previously did with Matt where we were looking at what he was thinking about in his golf swing and when he's on the golf course, we are gonna do that today with Micah over here. We're just gonna dive into what you're working on. What exactly, do you have anything right now specifically today you're gonna be trying yeah, to Yeah, I actually on? do. This is a good time to be doing this because I've recently been kind of, not through a swing things change, but kind of a thought pattern change. And uh, what that basically is, is I, I have a tendency when I'm not swinging as well to really get way from the inside swing like a probably at a probably like four to six degrees inside to out which creates a lot of spin if my face angle is not perfect so for the last couple weeks i've really been working on neutralizing everything so and are you one feeling of the, like coming over the top more it's like? not really coming over the top it's it's basically when i get to the top of my swing it's not letting my hand drop at all when my hands drop is when everything gets inside and gets stuck so at the top of my swing i'm just thinking keeping my hands really high and then turning down through and really neutralizing the path and it uh especially with my driver it's helping my attack angle to come down a little bit so i'm hitting a little bit flatter which i really like and uh uh, with my irons and wedges I'm not spinning it left or right as much which really helps me to not you know be able to have more consistency yeah for those of you out there you're probably if anything struggling more with the over the top move that's what everybody like 90% of the golfers struggle with Tig is actually struggling with the opposite which is mean means his path is getting behind him he's getting stuck there's a lot of rotation I struggle with the same thing but we'll see today how Michael works on that we play some good golf let's go a hole like this long par three what are you thinking since I warmed up I would probably be a little more aggressive I would if I was playing this from 165 I would be hitting I would he I'll be hitting a, a smooth nine just to and don't have to really do anything with it. I would be aiming just right of the pin at that at that kind of palm tree right there. And then if I draw it, it's going to end up really good. If I hit it straight, it's going to be about 15 feet. So it's kind of here. Let's try with a with a far left pin like that. You don't want to be too aggressive, but also you got to put yourself in a position to still be able to score. So that's that's kind of what I'd be thinking here. All right, so we have a long par four here. Based off of having sometimes my rule of thumb for myself is when I've never played a golf course and I haven't seen what's up there, I usually hit two iron. So that's probably what I'm going to be hitting today if it's 430 I can usually get about 250 260 out of my two iron so I should I should have inside of 160 on my second shot and having never seen the course having something in the fairway is is pretty important to me so I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna be hitting two iron here All right, guys. So Matt selected the back of this tee box for this as y'all know it's probably already been said these tee boxes don't have tee markers because you can play them from anywhere I'm gonna be hitting four iron All right, here we go in the water. That came out super low. It was kind of sitting down. I thought I could never up that crater that I had. So, it was good wind to Steve. Folks, these greens are slow. Whoa. Get there. So on that last par three, it was only 160 yards, but it was playing probably about one, probably close to 170 with that wind. If I hit a nine iron, it could have spun, spun just a little too much, which would have caused it to come up short in that bunker. Don't want to be short shot in a bunker, rather be a little long. So that's why I hit eight iron. Hit myself about 25 feet and uh, two putt par. Nice, safe, safe way to get out of there with par. So where's Tig gonna hit this shit? Right. He's gonna put it close. Good, good live video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want him to hit it good. Oh god, that's so long. I think that's gonna be inside of me though. I just completely, I don't know what happened there. Just oh, no, overpowered it. Should've hit 60, I felt the wind shift oh, downwind. Does it grow back? Everything? Yeah. It was just over. Yeah, it's interesting now watching Tig on the course working on that move. He's missed a couple shots today to the left and I feel like that's just because he's trying to feel the hand stay on top of the ball and maybe he just might be smothering the ball with a closed face a little bit. It is a new feeling for him, but it's good because you, you just don't want to play golf way into out here and flip it. There's just too much that can happen. You'll hit those low hooks. Not good. I like what he's working on. It's just, it's going to take some time for sure. Look, I don't have a great track record with uh, the elimination cha challenges over on the Good Good channel and, you know, it's not an excuse. I don't know what it is. It's some, some mental thing. So I got I to gotta work through that, but I think I just closed the face there on that wedge shot and it just kind of, you know, anytime you pull it, it goes long. So 
Unfortunately, that kind of sucks, but feeling good about my swing. I, I really like, even though I pulled that ball, I didn't spin it left or right, which makes a huge, which tells me that I'm swinging about where I want to be, which makes me really happy. So moving forward, pretty happy with where my swing is at. Just gonna keep grinding, keep trying to make fun. Tell the people how like mentally you approach days like this, where we have like a 9 a.m. tea time, we're about to play like 36 holes, film six videos. You know, let's just say if you, in college, I played a lot of 36 hole events. Today is one of those days for us. We're playing 36 holes. I think going into it, you have to really like pace yourself. It's kind of like running a marathon. You have to pace yourself. You have to give yourself time to get, you know, to get warmed up and, and start hitting shots. Cause you know, when you're, when it's early and your body's not loose yet, you have to, you have to be really patient with yourself cause you're probably going to hit some shots that are not quite as good, but don't let those get to you. Stay in it for the long run. And um, that's kind of how I, that's kind of how I think about really long days. It's all about pacing yourself and not getting too far ahead of yourself with these long days. So. Uh, even closing words. And Matt, Let's see it. My kids, they both played lights out. They made their father proud. I mean, this sudden, uh, you, you put it in there pretty close. You know, like screens, screens have some, uh, I think they're pretty new actually, but they're really hard, really firm. What kind of coffee are you drinking today? I'm just drinking uh, just a black coffee from Duncan. I used to be a really big Duncan fan. I've actually kind of dialed it back on Duncan lately and kind of, you know, moved on, but. It is what it is. It's still good. It's still good cup. Two v two v two matchup today. How you feeling? You yeah. And so you and Bubby back in it. Feeling good. Me and Bubby are both hitting it pretty well right now. On this first hole, it's down when it's 400 yards. I think I'm actually just gonna aim up the right side and hit a draw, and uh, you know, make sure I hit a draw, and then I should be in the throw. But should leave it's just a short wedge in. This is a pretty straightforward hole. I have since we're playing a scramble, you can be a little more aggressive. Take Bubby. Good. Get there. Get there. Hello! That one got some gas in it too. Mm, that was right of mine. Oh. That's perfect, Micah. Dang. Okay, that was decent. Oh right, god. Pretty good. Wait, <laughs> every tracer. Come on. Whoa! So typically this is a cart path. You could take relief from this with no penalty, but if we take your leaf, it's near point of relief, so it's back here. And it actually makes it worse. So I'm, a, and because this is like a, it's basically just kind of like a waste bunker. I'm actually just gonna play this like a bunker shot where it lies. I, can, I know I can get a lot of spin if I hit it well. So I'm just gonna trust it, try to carry it to the front of the green and uh, let it release down to the pin. This is not an easy golf shot, but I think it's the most functional golf shot for this position. Oh my God. Man. It's, yeah, it's gotta be I'm prepared. One on a part three. So now yeah. you're pointed more at the ball. Now just turn. Yeah. Now you're shallow already. But I, I can't get in that position if I'm. Dude. Yeah, we gotta. We're getting TIG dialed in today. I don't even care if it. I don't even right, care if it's more. Right, That's what I'm saying. I'd rather it be laid off. I'd rather be more laid off than across the line. Yeah. Because from there. Well, you're matched up. Your wrist is matched up. Yeah. Turn. Turn back. So here, go peel. Right there. That's where you need it. Not here. Toes up more. From there. Just gotta go back. There. Alright yeah. guys, so that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. A um, couple kind of key points that I want to go over real quick before we wrap up this video. Basically, I am really happy with the way I'm swinging it. I'm keeping my hands up. I'm making a good turn. It is a little bit difficult to go from practicing, practicing as much as I have been to like, like translating onto the course. So it takes a little time for that. Got to stay patient and stay at it. I'm really happy with the trajectory that I'm on. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the different good good members as uh, we kind of go through this. But thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button if you have not. See you guys later. I'm not afraid of